Hello, everybody. My name is Luchara, and this is Eco Global Survival Day 18, I believe, on my community server, my 12th community server. Uh, and Xandra has the hiccups. Hey, everybody. Hey, Punch. Hey, Kitty. Hey, Raider. Hey, Xandra. Um, first thing I got to do is let make sure everybody knows I am streaming. This is an important stream. We have to have a conversation. I would prefer we didn't have to have this conversation. We got to figure some stuff out. Because here's the thing. My understanding, we need to talk about pollution, as the uh, thumbnail and title indicate. Uh, hey, Miso, because I even I have some questions. I think I have a pretty good understanding of how it works, but I even I have some questions, and I'm not sure if any of us know the answers. But I am going to talk about pollution really early in the stream. I just want to give it a little bit in case anybody's just joining and they're watching a an ad. So I'm just going to wait like 30 seconds. And I'm going to start talking about pollution. And if anything I say about pollution is wrong to anybody's knowledge, please correct me. Even if you're watching later as a VOD, please correct me in the comments if nobody else does. Because, again, I think I have a good idea. You watch a six-hour stream from the devs, talk about it on Sunday. Six hours. Okay. So Punch has a good idea of what's happening. So... And I'm sorry if I came off as harsh in Discord there, Punch, but this whole pollution. So, so they, okay, so did they change it since my last server? Because it's just, it's weird to me that we got hit with like sea level rise this server and we never have in the past. And it's not like we're full of people this server, right? Relative to servers in the past. So I'm kind of trying to, trying to wrap my head around why. So they did change. Okay. Because I thought we wouldn't see any changes till update 10, but I guess they just snuck this in. Um, so, first thing we need to talk about, how do you check pollution? You go to any machine, any machine that pollutes, go to the status screen, and right here, this is what you care about. I mean, a lot of this stuff you care about, I guess, but this in particular. Um, and I'm assuming people can see these numbers. I'm not a huge fan of this font. I'm hoping everybody can see these numbers. Um, they gave you the hiccups too. Probably. So this number here is the big one. Right now, it's negative 283 parts per million. Uh, it can go all the way down to like negative 475 based off the number of plants we have. I assume negative 500 is as low as the plant number can go. Obviously, if you lose plants, this can get closer to zero. Um, I mean, I'm assuming... Um, so basically right now we are good. We are mint right now. We have no issues with pollution. The problem is if this becomes a positive number, right? It means we are creating more CO2 than the plants. Planting trees may have helped in theory. Like, I don't know how hard it is to hit this 500 number. It's been 500 for days. So I'm assuming that, you know, that's the cap. Um, yeah, it is oversensitive. Yeah, because the certain and I don't know if the size of the world matters, but I feel like the size of the world this time is fairly large relative to the number of players we have. Right. Um, so, yeah. So right now. So this updates every 10 minutes. That's a real time 10 minutes, not in game 10 minutes. Um, one question I have, and I don't know if Punch or anybody else knows this per day here. Is this. Per real life day or per in game day? Does anybody know that? And I guess I'm not sure how relevant it is, even is either way. But the problem is so if this goes positive, if we're creating more CO2 than we're pulling out from plants, that's when we potentially have an issue, right? Because what happens is this number, which is really the number that matters, is 325, which is as low as it can go. Essentially, 325 is the natural. So it is real life day. Thank, okay, thank you, Punch. Um, 325 is like the natural amount of CO2 that's in the atmosphere. So that's where we're at right now, which is mint. Like right now, we're good. But the problem is, if this number is positive and stays positive for a amount of time, this number starts to climb. And again, if anything I say is wrong, please correct me. Um, Punch, I'm assuming would probably be you since you seem the most familiar if you watched a six-hour dev stream just this past weekend. Um, so this number will start creeping up, right? 326, it's it's still okay. 330, still okay. As long as we notice 
and get this number back negative, and it'll slowly go back to 325. The problem is, if this number hits 340, well, actually hits, I guess it would have to hit 360, right? Not 340, because it says temperature rises one degree for every 20 past 340. Well, I guess as soon as you hit 340, I guess it would start rising in percent, like fractions of a degree. Hey, Venza. How are you doing today? We're talking about pollution, which I know is probably not the most exciting content, but we need to figure this out because for future servers, because I feel like what we're doing right now, like it's it's working kind of, but not really. And we can talk about why it's not working a little later. Let's just talk about what all these numbers mean for now. So if this goes over 340, the temperature starts rising. And if it goes over 420, sea level rises. We did this 1.19 meters raised so far. So you might think, well, as long as this doesn't hit 420, it's no big deal. Now, I agree 420 is worse, but when the temperature starts rising, the biomes change and like farmers could have, oh yeah, I got a really good wheat field right here. But if the temperature changes, all of a sudden the wheat field, the good spot for wheat is up here instead of down here, right? Um, which is still an issue. Obviously, sea level rise is even worse. I'm not going to disagree with that at all and i'm trying really hard to not be distracted right now um most people know i am a hockey and football fan i am a fan of the boston bruins and kansas city chiefs i am also a baseball fan and i'm a minnesota twins fan and they're in the playoffs right now and i left the game on on my tv it's on mute but it's on so i'm like i'm gonna try not to watch it'll be over probably within the hour anyway um so yeah i will want i do want to go over to buy miso's place because miso did um lose some of her property and you had to do some work um i'm not a swifty i i mean i have no issue with taylor swift oh the swifties are going to come for me um so okay so so pollution so this number like i said this number changes every 10 minutes so that's the problem. It doesn't like update in real time. And what happens is like today, I checked this and it was positive, which we don't want. It was only like 40 something, but I just said in chat, hey, pollution's a little high. I turned off my furnaces, but the problem is like everybody turned off everything. And that's that's overkill, right? As long as we get it back in the negatives for the next, for the next tick, right? For the next update every 10 minutes, it's fine. Honestly, as long as this number doesn't rise, it's okay to be a little in the positive. The problem was last week or the weekend, whenever it happened, I guess it was Friday night. It was Friday night. Um, hey, Cal. Um, oh, you just made it. So uh, I kind of want to, kind of want to briefly. So, because I want to answer specifically a question Cal asked. This number right here, Cal, this 325 this number can't go over 340 and 420. That's the number that matters. Um, but I feel like we're almost overcorrecting, right? Like it's, we go from plus 45 to like negative 400 and we don't need to go to negative 400. We just need to get it back under zero because part of the problem is like somebody who, you know, has a job and kids or whatever, and they only get a couple chances to play a day. If they log in and they see in chat, uh oh, pollution's high, they feel like they can't do anything. And that means they feel like they can't play, they can't contribute. Um, so yeah, so as long as this is negative, we're fine. And as long as this, like, like I said, if this goes up to even 100, right? For like half an hour and then goes back to negative 150 for the next, half an hour it'll be fine right so i mean i'm just if i see this in single digits like negative single digits or double digits i guess like anything negative 100 and higher like higher is in like actual higher closer to zero it's gonna be hard to say with negative numbers like anyway uh, that's that's a totally different question that's like grade eight math um then I'll, i might turn off my stuff Right. Um, yeah, like this 325 number can't go any lower. I have not seen this higher than 325 since the initial thing. But that's the thing. Like, I and we can go through the law system together and try to write something relevant. And it's more 
it's more for the next server than this one. Right? Well, not we've been trying we've been trying to stay negative is what we've been trying to do, Cal. We've been trying to not make any pollution. Right? Like as long as we've been trying to keep this negative, which we've been doing a good job. I mean it's negative right now, although uh it's eight ten. Um so let's go see what my truck says. So it should have updated. Yeah, that's the same, I think, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, the important thing is if it's positive, like, and anybody can feel free to check. And if you see it's positive, shut something off. Maybe mention it. But like, the problem is, I feel the people that don't know exactly what's going on feel like, oh, no, I don't think that's how I know what you're saying, Cal. You're saying you think this needs to be over 325, but this is a per day. Like, so this is getting added. I think if this is plus three, like if this was plus 100 per day, this turns into 425 is how I think it works. But you might be right. This is how much gets added. So if we were, if this was plus 100 per day and it just stayed there straight, I mean, which is not going to happen because machines are going to come on and off. But let's pretend for a minute it did stay at plus 100 straight, straight line all day. It would, it would raise this by 100. This is how I think it works, which is what I, I don't think what you're saying, but you could be right because I don't know. <laughs> And that's why I want to have this conversation so we can all learn, including myself, right? Like this is a plus. It would get added to this. Just like if this was above 325, whatever this negative is, it comes off however much. So if we if we if we manage to get up to plus 300 per day, which I don't even know if we could if we turned on every single thing and left it on somehow, I don't think it would be that much, but let's pretend we could. You're saying it wouldn't be a problem. I'm saying it would turn this to 625 and then we'd all be floating. Right. But again, I could be wrong. So if we do make a law, we got to figure out how to do it. Do we cap how much everybody can pollute per day? Do we just put a law in if this number goes positive, everybody's machines get turned off somehow? Like, I don't even, the other problem is I don't know what's possible through the law system. I know there are things we can do, but I, I, I went and I checked briefly earlier today, but I'm not sure. But I feel like everybody's being awfully quiet, so maybe I'm right <laughs> about how this works. I'm hoping I am. But I don't know. That's the problem. And this is strictly air pollution, ground pollution is something completely different. Um, and now air pollution does cause ground pollution, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't go the other way. So like for this stuff, for this, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, tailings do not matter. Tailings have no impact whatsoever on this. I believe. Now, yeah, well, I'm, like I said, I think I know, but I'm not sure. And I was hoping between all of us, we could kind of get locked in. But I think that's how it works. You thought it had to get over 325 for it to raise? Because I know I've run nonstop past servers were done and I watched the numbers and I'm 99% certain we've been positive, no effects. I just, like, yeah, you could be right, Cal, but also people are saying they've recently changed it though, right? Because what, what I'm thinking is, I don't know how we would have got this number to like over plus 420, right? Like even if literally every single machine was on, it wouldn't pollute that much, right? Like, I guess I, guess I don't, that's that's what I'm saying. But we'll have to figure something I. 14-ish steam engines running for 24 hours would do it. Well, how much does a steam engine pollute? I do have one. It's not hooked up or anything, but let's see how much a steam engine pollutes. 
it might it might make me hook it up or it tells me though which would be the crappy thing um okay am i blind am i missing a steam engine in one of these chests no yeah it's right there and again this law i don't know if we even need it this time 333.36 per hour so 80 ish per day but i mean that's no more than a glass furnace that's barely any more than a blast furnace. No, it doesn't make you set it up to tell you that. I always said if it makes you set you up. Um, so what you're suggesting, Cal, is whatever this number says here, Assuming it was running 100 or 24 hours a day. So it was single. It's weird how this is calculated per hour and this is calculated per day. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. So it's, it's hard for me to wrap my head around that. So. Yeah, maybe. But like, but I guess my question is though, Cal, yeah, well, why did it happen this run and not other runs? Yeah. I mean, but I was running my, I was running charcoal in my blast furnaces, not my steam engine, right? Okay, having 28 steam engines in the world and 28 steam engines running are very different things, right? Like, I had charcoal in mine, but my steam engine only ran when my rolling mill was going, which was basically never, right? I guess I guess is what I'm getting at. Because um, I just, I haven't had, I haven't had enough spare steel to make any of this stuff really unless somebody specifically asked for it and somebody linked this large corrugated steel door in chat earlier if you were looking for one i have one now um trucks yeah but trucks are so off and on right trucks make what oh, yes trucks make barely any relative right it would take 30 trucks to run as much as one steam engine. It's 2.4, I think, punch. I believe, two point something. Now, I'm curious, I almost wanna test it. Okay, can anybody, okay, Axel, I'm gonna say what Axel's question is. Axel said, do the pipes venting smoke higher still reduce air pollution? I've often heard people say, oh, you run the pipe up higher and then it doesn't pollute. I've never seen any evidence that that is true. Right? Like, does anybody know if that's true? The thing with blast furnaces is, like, you couldn't run a blast furnace 24 hours a day unless a ton of people were dropping yuff stuff off. How much do cement kilns pollute? Area of curiosity. So Punch says putting the smokestack higher just spreads the ground pollution only. It does not change the air pollution. I just, uh, I'm so, but I'm so scared, like, because this is a relatively small population and we still, we biffed it, right? Like, we had the sea level rise. Like, did you even rebuild your house, Cal? <laughs> like, I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> I'll just... I'm assuming cement kilns are higher. But I don't know. Cement, no, cement kilns are the same as the blast furnace. Cement kilns are the same as the blast furnace, but they probably 
run for longer, right? Would be my guess. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, Smack Kills are the same as Black Birds. Hey, the Twins won. Now I can turn my TV off. <laughs> That's a three-game series, so winning game one is huge. Yeah, trucks aren't really a factor. Um, See, so yeah, I guess it was a steam engine. So one thing we could do to help next server is typically we push electronics back a few days, like later than industry and stuff. Could we do electronics the same day? And we could potentially like, no, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> I was gonna say we could potentially ban skid steers for a few days. Cause the main reason why we push electronics back, cause I feel like skid steers kind of ruined the game. They ruined the scale of the economy. They kind of just, I don't like skid steers. There's a part of me who, that would just prefer to ban skid steers, but I know a lot of people love them and it would be upset at me if I did that. But, um, so if we move, yeah, so if we move electronics up and we put in like some kind of government subsidy for wind turbines, right? Like say that if you place a turbine, you receive X amount of money, right? Similar to roads, like we put a sub, we put, we subsidize wind turbines. Would that be enough for it to not be an issue? Would be, it, it, I mean, that's if that's enough, that's the best solution, right? I'd rather not have to write laws. But for anybody who's out there watching and feels like they're being told they can't pollute, I say fill your boots right now. If it gets so bad, like it did on the weekend. I'll just put a line that prevents all pollution again until it settles. So this is Miso's place. So this used to be Miso's yard. <laughs> uh, yeah, like this all used to be, um, this used to be above water, all this. Right? Not all, well. Or did you recover your whole yard, Miso? I guess you had to place all this stuff to get your yard back. I'm trying to remember what your yard used to look like. It was beach. Yeah. But Miso had to do a, oh, I think you're good. I think you're good Raider because you're fairly inland. And I don't think the lakes rose. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think the lakes rose. I think just the oceans rose. But I'll swing by your claim later. Well, I just, I need to, like this road in general, I haven't been down this road. Yeah, just the front yard, we did some mortar stone on it. But yeah, this looks very different than what it used to, right? Because it got kind of overflown. Rivers and oceans. So people said rivers, but did any of the rivers actually rise? And they might have. I know one thing. Like, I had water wheels right here in my river. And I could no longer um, use them. Because because the ocean flooded, how is this not considered ocean biome? Is there like a deep? Oh, there's deep ocean. That's how. Um, so the rivers became ocean. So I couldn't use my water wheels anymore. <laughs> well, it depends where they are, Venza. Like, no, oh, I'll have to go back to my place. Like one of mine still works because it's in the river. Um, Axel still has some that work, but he had to move them. Yeah, the whole road was underwater. Well, this whole road was underwater as well, if I remember correctly, right? Like, all this was underwater. I don't, I'm not sure about this part. And yeah, I do appreciate everybody who helped work on the roads. I appreciate um, everybody who helped on the wind turbine project which I think was Punch, Miso, Monkey, Xandra, Kitty. Uh, anybody else who worked on that, I apologize. Yeah, I don't... People say the rivers rose, but I didn't see any of them actually rise. But I could be wrong. Actually, let's go up to the next turn. I just want to talk about the water wheels. But yeah, we'll we'll do a I'll do a poll. 
Um, Axel's basement started to flood. Venz's hole flooded. Um, which, yeah. <laughs> Venz's, poor Venz's hole. So Axel used to have, like, so these, this is river. These water wheels still work. It's just because this section is not considered ocean. But he used to have a water wheel here. And this part is considered ocean. Why he considers that ocean and not the other part? I don't know. Right? Like, it's like, I don't understand. And like, yeah, I had, I had five water wheels, I think. I know the part by my place didn't rise. For sure. No, because mine, the river by me is considered ocean. It definitely did not rise. This did not rise. And it's considered ocean. Because I had, um, I had five water wheels and only one of them works now. I had to tear down the rest of them. I had three, I had a second water wheel out there and I had three right here, but this is considered ocean now. But it, it definitely did not rise. But maybe, maybe it did by, by axles, right? All I can tell is because this water, if this rose, this water wheel wouldn't work anymore because it'd be too submerged, right? But yeah, it could be. I'm just, I'm not saying, I'm sa all I'm saying is that this one did not rise. I'm not saying none of them rose. Um, how is the power grid doing, by the way? I know he's expanded it greatly today. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, so yeah, so honestly, like I said, we can talk about this before the next server. Um, but I feel like anybody who lives on the coast has built up a seawall at this point, <laughs> right? Um, so if the water did rise again, I bet I feel bad for the farmers if the temperature rises again, right? Yeah, it's it's your river is ocean with slivers of river. I mean, you could always just buy some windmills, right? If you had to, that's what I did. I just instead of trying to make my water wheels work, I was like, punch, make me some windmills, <laughs> please, and he did. And I put them in, so it's fine. But also, I'm going to be switching. The other, the other thing I was planning to do on stream today is set up a froth rotation cell and a sensor-based bell sorter. And I was hoping there was a jock. There was not a jock crusher on the market earlier. There is now at Monkey Mart. So I'm going to go buy that, and then I'm going to set them up later. Wimbles are ugly. Yeah, they are. Who? Raise your hand or say something in chat. If you've been playing eco long enough from when water wheels didn't used to need to be underwater or they didn't used to be in water at all, <laughs> like you you just drive around and like people would have a factory and there'd just be a water wheel on the side of the factory just turning. <laughs> right. It was funny. What's all the garbage doing here? Why do you have a stockpile full of garbage punch? Yeah, so it would be something like what Punch has here with windmills, except it would just be water wheels just spinning in the air. Like, that was way back on, like, my first... My first server, my first multiple... Um, um, uh, ah, wait. I gotta go buy my jaw crusher. My first community server... Oh, sorry, Goody. Goody's like, I'm out of here. Luch is drunk again. It's all trash you picked up and made yourself. All right. So have I been down this way lately? Here's Punch's shop. I don't... I apologize for not streaming on the weekend. It just, it just didn't happen. I'm not going to make any excuses. Real life was priority on the weekend. That's my only excuse. Um, but... What is this? This is going to be something. Oh, Durable Door is starting a build. But I don't think I've Punch's Workshop was wasn't done, at least. All the stuff, there's Punch. And Thorgrim's uh, Pyramid? Temple? Ziggurat? I don't even know what you'd call this. But it's done. And it's impressive. 
23 days for the meteor. We got all kinds of time. Ziggurat. That's why it's named Ziggy's. That went right over my head, as per usual. So, yeah, st there's still, like, no pollution. Um, but, yeah, I feel like with nobody having steam engines anymore, even if we ran everything, I think we'd be fine. At least I said Ziggurat is one of the options. <laughs> um, the kitty ad. No, that's the same. Or Like, I know the basement was there. Bakery was there. Did you add a floor, Kitty? Or am I drunk again? Probably drunk. Like, was this part always here? Oh, Kitty's AFK. Oh, no, she's not AFK. It's same. Okay, there you go. I'm drunk again. I have not been by the Eric in a while. I will. I will swing by there, Cal. But I, I haven't been there in a while. I, I love Monkey Store. It's got like sand and iron concentrate. He's got meat. He's got leather and pelts and stuff. And then he's got like electronic stuff. <laughs> it's quite a mix, Monkey. It's quite a mix. I get a kick out of it. Ooh, I'm going to need modern upgrades for all this stuff too. You did it just for me. Oh, you said you took away the ladder. I hate ladders in this game. Everybody knows that though. Um... Oh, there's definitely some new stuff here. But is there? I don't know. It's been so long. I guess that was always up there. But you can see the materials being used are changing in um, Domo's place. Domo. Is it just Domo's place or Domo and Darth? But there's composite lumber in there. And there didn't used to be, right? And Ashlar. Different types. So, yeah, so it's the materials are changing. I think structurally it's the same. Materials being used are changing for sure. It's electric. All right, let's go. Let's go see the Eric. Oh, Black and his place definitely has changed. The three is live there. All right, cool. And this has changed. Sanders very temporary advanced masonry setup. Enjoy the pinkness. Very pink. Yeah, I'll be doing the same with Orgrim as soon as I can. And Axel, once you can do that, you can get rid of your water wheels and you can fix the road that I screwed up. <laughs> yeah, the Black and Nose place definitely looks different. I like the little the indentations there. Kind of makes it less boring, right? Because that's the thing about reinforced concrete. It's just kind of boring. I like what BK's done with the place. So that's all for his advanced tailoring and stuff, right? There goes Darth. This definitely looks different. This is some high-end stuff now. Ooh, so I might need to bring steel plates when I do MU2s. And that's okay. So this is what the different types of composite lumber look like. And God, I know I've banged this drum many, many times before, but it bothers me that these all just have the same, like, look, except one. Palm. Palm has a completely different grain. Everything else is just different colors of the same grain. And then they're like, ah, palm will be completely different. It's like, it, like is in real life palm super different? Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe they're going to add different grains for all of them or different textures, whatever you want to call them. Joshua has a different top grain. Too. Which one's Joshua? Mm, I don't know. That looks... I guess so. I mean, I guess they have slightly different textures, but it's all still just the vertical lines, right? Oh, on top it does, you mean? Yeah, but the palm is completely different on all sides. I, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, that's why palm sells so much. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I just, I guess I just wish they had, they all had different, right? Or more of them had different. Um, 
Where did I leave my track? <laughs> Over here. Looks like. Yep. All right. Let's go see the arc. And I do need to go uh, check out that other road. What is going on there? A little fenced in tree farm. Guess it's probably been there before. That's definitely not new. Oh, that's not new either. That's cool. <laughs> that's not new, but also cool. I mean, I had a house originally. I got rid of it, but like, I, what do I need a house for? Right? I have no need for XP. I have a I have a star I'm not even using right now. I get another star in three and a half days. I don't really need a house. Then again, I don't really need to have a food bonus of 79, and then I, I do that. Ooh, should I check on Lucian Damo got an update? Okay. Um Oh, the walls to prevent the trees from falling into BK's fields. I might build a house just for the sake of building a house. Um, Kitty, do you want me to, should I check out the progress on the castle? The Easter Island head behind doors. All right. Well, Kitty, if Kitty's at her keyboard, which she might not because she says she's eating or her food had arrived at least. Um, we'll potentially go get an update on the castle. Be nice. All right. So we're going to go check that out and then we'll check out the arc. Um, but the Easter Island head behind doors. I have to check the ba the basement in the castle, you mean, I assume? We can do that. I do still like Black and Oats metal horns. Well, it looks like El Tozo's made some changes. There's a reinforced concrete section back there. The Lil Mill. Right here's Durable Woodworks, and she looks like she's getting some different stuff going here. This is new. Ooh, evil, evil steam engine. Bad steam engine. Uh Oh, there's Dora. Where's the East Island head? I'm assuming you mean back here somewhere? This is fancy. Back in the jungle a bit. Okay. What do we got going on here? Oh, look at this thing. Is this what you're talking about, Thorgrim? Ah, I can't get up. How do you get in there? Oh, like that. Nice. I dig it. That's cool. Nice. Whole complex back here that I've never seen before. I think this is new for last time I was back here. This was here. Might have been new materials, but that one's new. And the Easter Island head thing is definitely new. God, do these roots bother anybody else or is it just me? <laughs> Not my truck. My truck's out here. My truck is sitting next to man. <laughs> man bought trolleum. Get your oil goods at man bought trolleum. Well, some of them anyway. All right. Let's proceed. So steam engines are bad. Steam engines are bad. Okay, so we need to try. Yeah, I think maybe at least in electronics earlier and trying to make have the government subsidize wind turbines might be enough. Hey, David boy. For you on this fine Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday evening. <laughs> Had to think about it. Yes, yeah, so, but the, so these uh, fences, and those fences are to make sure that if the tree falls, the tree falls in the forest, there's nobody there to hear it. Um, if tree falls, it doesn't fall on Black Oats crops and wreck them. 
what those are for. All right, let's go see Katie's castle and then check out the Ark. And then maybe we'll go see if Cal's house is still flooded, because I think it is. It looks like it is. Family drama, but home again. Well, hopefully the drama is nothing too serious. I don't think back and forth has changed anything. Yeah, I try to show off what people do. Oh, no, he's definitely changed some stuff. <laughs> this was definitely not here. Oh, he's got some colors. He's planning something. <laughs> Back and forth is planning something. HGTV streams. I don't think... Was this Brick last time I was here? I don't think so. I think it was all wood. So it's definitely changed. It's been a minute since I was here. But I will say, too, like I said, um, the poor people that live on this road... Well, you'll see. I have not done a good idea... A good idea. I have not done a good job of showing... Or, like, um, Skull's... Housing for rent? I, I don't think I've ever driven by here. <laughs> Honestly. So we're going to try to do that today. Uh, back this way. No. Let's go to Santos and Tre Treble's place. Because I haven't been up here lately either. Like, I've been very good at showing off the main streets. Everything else, though, not so good. So... I'm not sure. So some of this is for rent. I'm just not sure which part is the part that's for rent. But it all looks cool. I know there are multiple people renting. And I have no idea what part of it is for rent. Maybe this part. I don't know. But they got it. I like how, like, so this is all two players. Uh, Thanatos and Treble. I like how they kind of, instead of just building one giant building, they kind of have made different buildings. I think it adds a lot to it. I'm going to assume this part's for rent, maybe. I think this is the workshop part, probably. But I, I have been here, like on an early stream. I had, Yeah, this is the workshop. Ah, another evil steam engine. Ooh, we could, we could ban steam engines. No, we can't ban steam engines because you need some steam engines to make the initial wind turbines. I think, right? I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure you need power to make wind turbines. What's down here? Storage? Storage. Yeah, you need some electric. So, yeah, so we can't just ban wind turbines. Or we can't, sorry. Obviously, we don't want to ban wind turbines. We can't ban steam engines. That is not a viable solution, unfortunately. You need one, but an oil person couldn't use them. Um, I forget which table wind turbines are made at. Depends if the table that makes the wind turbines. But I'm trying to remember if the electric... Like this, the table you make circuits at. I forget if that uses power or not. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Like I said, I just wanted to touch on how the pollution worked. And I wanted to get some verification that what I, how I thought it worked was correct. Um, electric machines. Yeah, I think it does too. Oh, yeah, the castle definitely looks different than last time we were here. And Kitty has allegedly been digging up a bunch of coal. Yep. Yeah, she has. All right, so I don't have to ever dig coal again. <laughs> you can. Yeah, I can limit it to the, someone that has the job. Yeah. Yeah, we know there's there's a few different ways to do it. Problem is you need like at least two people. Right? You need oil drillers and electric people, electricians, I don't know. But you might also need industry. I'm not sure. Well, like I said, we'll figure something out. All right. So the basement is are we at, wait, are we in the basement? No. <laughs> All right. Um, here's the basement. 
Ooh, that is a lot of granite, kitty. Electric steam engine should be fine. Well, that's that's the only thing is you have to burn coal. That's the only thing you can burn. Goes down even more. All right, well, I'll just check out this floor for now. The coal layer. Oh, yeah, she's got her skid steer digging up coal. Wait, is it coal or shale? That's coal. That's shale. Wait, is this coal? Yes. Yeah, there is a... I mean, you can burn wood, but I'm pretty sure it's just as much pollution if you burn wood. There is also a combustion generator that goes off oil, but I don't know if that's any better. And also, it just means we have to make more oil early on. Anyway, it, the, we definitely have to try to get um, wind turbines out as soon as possible. And listen, I'll, I'll mention this multiple times when the time comes. Eh. 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 I can't jump high enough. Um, I'll mention this multiple times when the time comes. If you're building next to the coast... Put up a seawall <laughs> just in case it happens again. Be prepared, right? We're going to try to make sure it doesn't happen again. But in case it does. All right. Uh, I have such a bad sense of direction. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Um, I don't think going up is the solution. Oh, no, it is. Never mind. I was wrong. Bad sense of direction. Yeah, I, I thought I was already in the ground floor. That's, that is my bad. Yeah. Apparently I can't drive either. <laughs> the mess hall. Uh, What floor is the mess hall on? <laughs> yeah, it did bring the, com com the community together. That's true. I think I did, Kitty, this room? Well, no, I didn't. I did now. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't. Cool. Uh, lumber tables? Yeah. Lumber looks pretty clean. I do like lumber. That's the problem. That's honestly the problem with composite, is I honestly think the lumber looks just as good, if not better. Right? Like, Ashlar looks cooler than composite. Generally speaking, lumber, anyway, that's my rant uh, about composite. Lumber looks just as good. If anybody feels like they're poor and need a loan, let me know. I have more money than I'll ever spend because I'm not a builder. If I can subsidize somebody's cool build, let me know. Well, as long as like 20 people don't send me a message because then I won't have enough money. But, oh, and speaking of which, Kitty... Uh, I tried to sell you crushed slag, I think, earlier, and your store didn't have any money. Or that account didn't have any money, like your other account did, but you know what I mean? Anyway, not important. That's true. Door does have a good point. Lumber is good, but there aren't enough shape options compared to composites. You, there is extra, like, forms, right? Like, if I get my hammer out, well, I can't really do it because I don't have anything. Or, like, like this. So... I hold F, I get all these different forms, right? There are more options here with composite than there is with lumber, is what Dora's talking about. And I agree. I agree. Dora, there is more. That That is the benefit to uh, the composite, for sure. You're surviving just fine, but Glassworks on its own isn't much of a moneymaker until fiberglass. It. I mean, yes and no, I agree. Um... If you're buying your sand and crushed limestone, yeah, it's pretty small margins. Um, but if you do your own sand or your own crushed limestone, or in particular, if you do both, it can be pretty good. Um, I know in the past I found I did okay on it. But you, you definitely want, and, and you were, though, um, you want to be the one that's making the auto upgrade twos. You can make what I used to do with the auto up with the upgrade twos is oh, 
Thank God I, yeah. Elevator is so much better than stupid, um, whatchamacallit. <laughs> um, what was I saying? What was it? Oh, I, what I would do is I would buy all the AU1s from the potters and just make AU2s and sell them and not have to worry about the whole auto thing and setting up the auto shop. This is what I used to always do when I was a glass worker, or at least the most recent time I was a glass worker. And I felt like that worked pretty good. Uh, but that's me. But again, I'm not a builder, so I don't spend money like other people do. So I, I, I never try to judge people on how much money they have. Well, just life advice. Don't judge people on how much money they have. Um, but like the people who are like always poor, it's because they build stuff, right? I don't build things. That's why I'm never poor. Also, I'm the YouTuber and the server owner. So some some people, not everybody, clearly prioritize buying for me. And I realize that. I'm aware of that. Not everybody does, but some people definitely do. All right, we are in the hall. We are inside, not in the hall, in the, in the hold. We're in the hold of the ship. So are these linked? No. Need to get these linked up with the other ones. Because I don't know if you're aware, Calorie, but you need like a bajillion. Like if if the if the lasers aren't linked to the main grid, you're gonna need a heck of a lot more than two wind turbines. So this is where we're gonna watch the meteor get shot down. For anybody who's not aware, it's gonna come up over this horizon. I'm going to raise my view distance for the meteor. Um yeah. Oh, okay, I was trying to spread it around. Usually I go to Punch, but occasionally I'll go to Ewer's and to sell my crust slag. It will get linked. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, it's true. Poles were at a premium there for a while, right? Because we were trying to get the power grid going in the main part of town. So that tracks. That makes sense. Cool. All right, down we go. Er, I'm just going to jump. I left the elevator up, Cal. I don't know where you wanted it. That's where it was. I put it back... I put it back how I found it. <laughs> oh, there's a tier four room. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot the ED to the tier four room. So I'm assuming you're just rolling with this. You don't care that you're flooded and you got a dead agouti in your yard. So this, this is what happens, folks. This is when the sea level rose. So what would you have to do to get this water out? Would you have to pump it out? Or is it still coming in from somewhere? Because it looks like you've closed it all off. I do not understand the water physics in this game. If you've seen my 10 things I wish I knew video, I even do a thing about water. I only knew that because other people told me how to do it. You have to build every block. And then take them. Oh, see that. Oh, I hate that. No, thanks. Fill it in. No, thanks. I understand why you didn't do that. Yeah, I fell. So was this road flooded? Did this road need to rise? Probably, right? Yeah. That sounds miserable. Like I knew, I knew this part of it had flooded, but I didn't know if the whole thing, the whole road. Uh, so thank you everybody who pitched in for that. I have not helped with the roads nearly as much as I should have this run. I will be honest. I have built some. Uh, all, definitely not all. I've I've spent a bit of time. All the way to Miso and the Green Isles. So yeah, so it's all the way up here. So this whole road is underwater, essentially. All right, so there's Miso's place. Um, so yeah, so let's turn, uh, let's turn left here. A lot of smog. Yeah, how is the pollution right now? Ah, pollution's still fine. We're in the negatives. We're pulling more CO2 out of the air than we're making right now. Right now. <laughs> Being the key. 
Mmm, yummy. I'm going to check out the wind farm. Ooh, I probably should. I wasn't, but I probably should. And I will. Yeah, there's another flood victim. Well, that's the one we showed earlier. That's the one we showed right at the start. So we got Mr. Sparacco's place. He hasn't been on in a couple weeks. Um, so let's head this way. Check out Rico's place, Elsirk's place, uh, TNT, Etronix, like um, Skull's thing that he did. Ooh, somebody bought a large, large Corrier steel door. If anybody wants, I will make those if anybody needs them, but I'm not stocking them. Right, the Lord, the Corgay steel door is large or normal size. So this, I believe, I mean, this is the road, but I'm pretty sure this was Rico's work. If it wasn't Rico's work, then I apologize to whoever's work it was. But considering this part is Rico's property, I'm going to assume it was Rico's work. And it looks really cool, and I like it. It's funny, I haven't seen Rico on a whole lot, but he's clearly been busy. <laughs> clearly been busy. As Rico likes to dig. Rico's a digger. Rico typically, um, you know, mines a lot. He's got a skid steer. It's a little it's a little easier when you have a skid steer. Yeah. He plays way later. I mean, he's in Europe. I Yeah. He plays different hours. Oh, I get it. I'm the, and he's not the only one that plays different hours than me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Rico... Yeah, he was on this morning. Um, I think Rico's from the from is also from Norway, somewhere to punch. I believe we had that conversation in the past. I could be wrong though. Well, we knew that last stream. I was wrong a whole bunch last stream. I could be wrong again. There's Darth. All right, let's head this way. Oh, wait, who's this? Is it bad? I don't, I don't know whose property, this tier four property. I don't know who this belongs to. That's bad, right? I should probably know this. Oh, it must be Phil's place, because this is Phil's mining stuff. Phil's new places. All right, well, at least they're new. <laughs> that makes me feel not quite as bad. Because I don't remember seeing these before. Not furnished at the moment, but I like the, I like, I kind of like the, so we got mortared, um, or sorry, ashlar granite and green reinforced concrete and the windows are what? The windows are composite redwood. So we got a nice variety of materials, 670 Kitty Hall Road. Well, this is Kitty Hall Road, isn't it? Yeah, it's way over there. Oh, and you got some flat steel up there or greenhouse glass. They both look similar. The plants, like there's a lot of different things going on here. I'm going to say probably work in progress still. Like I feel like there should be a reinforced concrete pillar here to match this one, probably. Yeah, the green and gray together. I dig it. Oh, and we got some... Opposite flooring in here that we didn't have on the other side. Okay, so he's fur he's furnished in here. The other side isn't furnished yet. He's using ladders to spice up the walls or spruce up the walls a little bit. Oh, and maybe the pillars are intended like that, right? Like the pillar on that side, like it's meant for this side more so than this side. Sandman, what are you doing, my man? Your computer still suck too much to play eco? That's harsh, but the question stands. <laughs> so yeah, this is Phil's uh, smelting operation. See, he has a jaw crusher and a throttle rotation, so I've been slacking. I should have had them earlier. Sandman is also a really talented builder, but he just can't play anymore because his computer sucks. I'm just calling him a spade a spade, man. <laughs> I miss you, Sandman, and I love you. Do you know why I love you, Sam, man? Oh, this sounds bad. I love you because you're cool and a good builder and you're chill, but also because you're a patron and I love all my patrons. 
So share it to my patrons. If you want to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description down below. At least there should be. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is. Um, but yeah, shout out to my patrons. I literally couldn't do this without you. All right. Anyway, <laughs> that's over. That's done. Got that out of my system. Speaking of patrons. So, yeah, like people like you are why I, I like to, to do the one evening stream because you, you got your work, right? You work during the, 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 the daytime. You know, you're busy with the family on the weekend, right? So this is El Cirque's place, another patron. So he just sells crushed stuff. So I've been here many times, just not on stream, right? I've been here to uh, to buy crushed, usually iron, con or not so much crushed, iron concentrate. He also had some copper concentrate today. Um, or some crushed, lime crushed limestone and iron concentrate are primarily why I come here. But I've, I've been here many times. <laughs> Many times. Yeah, Sandman, um, God, it was a long time ago. It was like server five. He built this insane castle out of mortared stone. And he wasn't even a mason, so he had to buy it all. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you weren't. Um, you're going to give it a shot again? Fired up the power through the leg? Yes, give it a try at least. Um, and we were all like, wow, that's crazy, Sandman. And then he's like, and you know what? I'm bored. I'm also going to build a giant pyramid over next to it, like this huge pyramid. And then he's like, and then I'm going to dig out like this giant moat and like fill it with water. And it was crazy. It's probably like your property in that is pr it's probably my favorite tier one only build we've had. Right? Yeah. Similar, Thorgrim, similar. Except he wasn't, after he built his, he's like, ah, I'm going to do a second one. His was more, excuse me, a straight pyramid than like a ziggurat. Yeah, you were a basic engineer and a mechanic and stuff. That's right, too. All right, so we're coming up to the TNT group, who I don't think they're, they haven't been on as much lately. I don't know if they've like, if, they've, if they're completely inactive, but so I should say it's Timo. Uh, Toby and Sakul. I haven't seen them on as much lately. Yeah, it's been a while. For Timo, yeah, they've gone inactive. But they were really active for the first two weeks. It happens, right? It happens to the best of them. Like Zane was on a lot. Eh, nine days. Anyway, again, I will never judge people for stopping playing after a week or two weeks or whatever the case may be, right? Well, we're not playing on the new update yet, Sam, man. We're still on update nine point whatever. I love their little gas station. So this is like a currency exchanger, but it looks a lot like a pump, right? It's not ready, Sandman, in my opinion. It's not close enough. It's not It's not complete enough. And then, well, it's just not public either, right? Like, I can't edit. Well... <laughs> There's a lot about it that's good. There's some rebalancing, new uh, new recipes. Obviously, boats are cool. Um, just the settlements is a little... People don't seem quite as sure about, right? Yeah, like I said, the three of them, they were really active the first couple weeks. They were really helpful. Um, and then they haven't been playing lately, and it happens, right? All right. Uh, let's go see. They also have that little house there. Let's go down this way. So, the, if anybody like is like, "Oh, there's all these roads for sale. Where should I go to build them?" This road still needs a ton of work. This road is still sketchy. Um. So yeah, the public coal mine. I've been here a couple times myself, but it, now the kitty has a bajillion coal, I won't have to mine my own coal anymore. Thank you very much, Punch. I appreciate it. Oh, this part has been mined out quite a bit, though. Of the public coal mine. Thank you for the donation, Punch. Yeah, there's new blocks, new building blocks in the new update. I can give you, Sam, and a new computer. Someday. Someday. Yeah, this part's been really mined out a lot. I didn't realize. 
And then we got over here. This is Etrunix's place. He's been pretty casual. I think he just logs in, does a little mining, right? Or, or I just don't see him because he's in a different time zone. And he is. He's in the opposite side. He's my fellow Canadian on the East Coast. He's, wait, is he West Coast or Ontario? Okay, so I'm trying to remember. I think actually, I don't, uh, obviously Eitrinx isn't here. Or if he is, speak up. I think he's from Ontario, but I'm trying to think. But his mom, who has played with us before on a couple servers, Rice is Nice, for anybody who doesn't remember, um, she moved out to like BC, which is West Coast. But I think Eitrinx isn't, so that's only one hour difference. So like, anyway, I haven't seen Eitrinx a whole lot, but he's around. Obviously, he's got this whole building. And occasionally I come here to buy coal from him. <laughs> Usually when Miso is sold out, I come see Itrunix or mine some myself. Um, yeah, so here's where the road gets really sketchy. <laughs> now Kitty has a ton of coal, so I can just buy from Kitty or Miso. You miss Rice's night? Yeah, she was cool. Oh, wait, somebody is working on this road. So uh, up until... Like the last time I came through this road, like you got to this point and then you had to like curl like this and then like this. And it was really sketchy. Well, whoever probably Venza's skid steer because Venza lives right over there. Yes. So Venza has been hard to work on this road. Um, oh, yeah. Punch is the mechanic, but two servers in a row. He didn't do it. Not, not the run before either. Punch it was two runs in a row. He didn't do it. His last last server was Phil. Um, oh God, was it just Phil? There was somebody else. Oh, I forget the name. It was the person who they lived across the road from Monkey Prime. Last server. Who was that? It was mostly Phil though. Last server. The server before was me, and like Bori did the bit. Uh, like Calorie was Electronics. But yeah, last server was mostly Phil. The server before that was mostly me. And, but yeah, before that was Punch. <laughs> yeah, it's not the whole mechanics, industry, electronics thing for new players. I would never recommend it for new players. Never recommend it for new players. Uh, so it looks like Venza's build is the same. Yeah. I can't remember the name. They only played on that one server, I think. Ooh, so what happened to their water wheels? What's going on with your water wheels, Venza? Did this... Did the water level go down here? But yeah, it was mostly Phil, I think, anyway, Kitty. Like, I don't remember that other person. They did a bit. I'd have to go watch the stream. It's all ocean now. But why are they high up? Why are they not even in the water? Did the water go down? Or did you like, did you raise them when the water rose and then the water went back down? Or were they working? Because they, I feel like they shouldn't have worked even when it was a river. But I could be wrong on that. They were they were working like that before. Now, eco's gonna eco, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I had I had one of five water wheels worked. Yes, for the first time ever, Sandman. Uh, the water, the sea level rose. We had too much pollution, and it just kind of took us all by surprise. Nobody was paying attention to it. Nobody was watching it. Right? We weren't we weren't paying attention. All of a sudden, like I I went out with my friends Friday night. I had a few um, a few wobbly pops, a few beer, um, a few too many beer. I got home at like 3 o'clock in the morning last Friday night. I checked Discord, and people are freaking out because the water sea level's rising. And there's so there's like eight people in, in voice chat, and they're like, Mooch, come in voice chat. I was like, oh, I'm too drunk for that. But I did anyway. <laughs> um, whose place? Oh, this is Zane's place who's not really active anymore. Yeah, the sea level rose. There's Itrunix. I was just talking about you a little bit. I was just by your place. You're in Ontario, right? 
and I know your mom moved out west. So I was trying to think. I was like, is he out west or his mom moved out west? I think anyway. Yeah, the sea level rose. Um, a bunch of the you're on, on terrible. Yeah, everywhere is terrible now, man. Um, the whole world's going to crap. Anyway, that's not really a topic for this for this stream. It's a little outside of our scope. This road still needs some work too. And this is a road that I should be working on. Yeah, just your mind. That's what I was thinking. Oh, we haven't been by Axel's place lately. And oh, Katie wants me to check out the uh, wind farm. Reinforced concrete. So work in progress, looks like. All right, I want to see how much, I just want to see how much tailings are down here. Curious. What? It's got a little cubby. Acts as a little fuel cubby. <laughs> we have hit bedrock. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're just stacking stockpiles on stockpiles on stockpiles. No, there's a lot. I'll be honest. I was expecting, was I expecting more? No, that's a lot. That's a lot of tailings. I still got all kinds more, Axel. <laughs> oh, is your store buying? You have lots of room down here. I have all kinds of tailings still. Like, Axel, as many tailings as I've sold you, it's all new tailings. I still haven't sold you all my tailings that I made, like, in the first week that are still buried in my iron mine. <laughs> your house is definitely a work in progress. Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you mostly mine coal and get back to work in real life. Yeah. And I've appreciated that coal. I bought it from you a few times, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Yeah, this is where I screwed up the road district. It goes right through Axel's property. Who can you build a road without interrupting the water wheels? I assume Axel's uh, had to go back to work. You still have some tailings yourself, too? Yeah. Yeah, I still, yeah, I haven't, I haven't touched the ones in my basement, basically. Um, yes, and shout out to whoever made my sign. So for anybody who doesn't know the story of the sign, I, I put a little sign here, just one sign, Lutz Merit this way. Somebody stole it. <laughs> Somebody stole my sign. So I went, I got a replacement, and I put it in. And then somebody made it even better. So shout out to that person. All right, let's go check out the wind farm. I believe it is out this way. Oh, I want to just quickly drive by. So we got Skull's place. And I don't know whose place this is. El Tozo going with a funky brick build. I like this. Still don't know who stole it. No. And it's it's whatever now. I don't I'm over it. As long as they don't steal other people's stuff, I guess. I do like the colored bricks. And Hood has been busy as well. Ooh, I like this. I like the black in the middle with the, just the reinforced concrete. I think this is Hood's. Yes, this is part of Hood's. No, I like that, Hood. I like how you're using the... Um, what is this called? River dirt? Crushed mixed rock. So this is the same as the stuff that's underwater. I guess you can make it by crushing up old roads or old mortared stone and stuff. But no, still haven't caught the fee, unfortunately. And I probably won't because it is what it is. I mean, like I said, it wasn't, <laughs> the sign's not worth barely anything, right? right? It wasn't, I wasn't worried about the sign. It was just the principle. Somebody was like, oh, hey, there's a sign that clearly somebody put there. For a reason, I'm gonna take it. I don't know. Maybe it's somebody I ticked off. Right? Anyway, it is what it is. I do like Chris Con Chris Toncamp's place. Ooh, it looks like a jail. Looks very jail like. Not I mean not that part, but I don't know. I don't think I want to live in there. 
Can't speak for anybody else, but I don't think I want to live in there personally. I think everybody else that lived on this road's pretty much gone inactive. But if we get here, so, and yes, this is the way to my copper and gold mine, which I haven't, I haven't needed to hit the copper mine. I did hit the gold mine for a couple of loads. Um, you, you need so little gold though. Like they need to make more uses for gold. They need to make more uses for gold. Right there. This is all the copper I did. That's all the copper I mined out. Because, like, multiple other people, as soon as I did this, other people were like, oh, hey, Luch, do you need copper? <laughs> it's like, uh, kind of, I guess. But I hate this gold mine. you got to go, like, way down here to get any. Anyway. Is what for you? Sorry. Thorgrim? All right. So then we got a tunnel. We even got lights in the tunnel. But these, like, they function as power poles. These lights is, is why I, I assume why they're here. Not for the light. Because, <laughs> I mean, you can't put power poles, right? So. And I think we go up here. Get to the wind farm. Prison. Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Chris Tomkamp built it. Hope not. I hope, no, I hope none of y'all have to go to prison ever. And then we get up this ladder. Oh, I can already see the, the blades. The wind turbine blades. So there was a lot of terraforming done up here. It used to be a mountaintop. Oh, wow, there's still a space for a ton. A ton of wind turbines. And the reason they're out here, I mean, it's it's twofold. And again, shout out um, Punch. I know it was the driving force of this, but also Kitty, Xandra, Monkey, Miso. I know for sure helped. If anybody else helped, thank you to them. Um, so they do more if they're higher, right, Is is part one. Um, of of why it's up here. And it's also out of the way. They Once you get a lot of them, because they're a moving object that need, the server needs to render all the time or your computer needs to render all the time, whichever, um, it's better to have them up in an out of, out of the way area like this. Eskrimore was also a big help. Shout out to, to uh, Eskrimore. Um, so yeah, there's less lag if they're up here, out of the way, right? Because, like, nobody lives up here. Nobody comes out up here. I mean, if I have to use my copper or gold mine, sure, I might have to come out here. Um, I guess Manbot might use this road to get to his oil field. Uh, 106, you said it was 128 high. Yeah, so that's a lot of terraforming. <laughs> that's a lot of terraforming. Good job, everybody that contributed. Yeah, most of the people that live out this way are inactive. So it shouldn't affect anybody, right? Which is, and it's high, which they give more power, right? I believe it's a thousand power base, but I think they're doing 1250 because they're up so high, right? So that's 25% more power, which is great. So shout out to everybody. Ow, ow. And I'm fine. Walk it off. Just walk it off, Looch. Everything is fine. Ah. Sorry, Mr. Bison. So somebody was paranoid about falling off the road <laughs> into the water. I don't blame them. We got Manbot's oil platform out here. Ooh, looks like it's kind of a fancy oil platform. Let's get a closer look, shall we? Plan to do a build in the tunnel there next to it, but should be okay. To oh, yeah. I mean, you might have to deal with some lag. 
Oh, he's got a store out here. Oh, well, that's good at the road. Sandra did not know what she signed up for. It happens. It happens, Punch. Yeah, so he's got a tier three room because the uh, the machine that you need to make your barrels needs tier th needs a tier three room. You spun and spun and spun and spun around on the crane for hours on end. She asked why I needed the crane. Why not just ladder to bring out the dirt and still stone down? Yeah, no. Oh, so you must have you had a crane on that little platform, I assume, Punch. Yeah, that tracks. That makes sense. All right, cool oil platform. You know what's bad? I do not even know where this road takes me if I follow it. Go by Misos? No. Venz's? Is it going by Venz's place? We're about to find out. <laughs> it's pretty. I should know. I probably should know, <laughs> but I don't. Or somewhere else entirely. Um, oh, we're at, this is zero zero. So okay, comes out at zero zero. Um, this is not a case of somebody leaving this here to be well a dick. <laughs> this is um, if stuff if stuff just vanishes into the void. It respawns at zero zero. So, has anybody been out here cleaning this up? Like, how long has this been here? I wonder. Like, has somebody been coming out here periodically and cleaning up every, all the junk, or is just, or has this junk been here all the time? I, I, to my knowledge, Kitty cleaned it up there. Today. Okay, cool. Thank you, Kitty. Um. I haven't heard of anybody of that happening to anybody's name, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. It's just to my knowledge, it hasn't happened. Oh, so if Kitty just moved it yesterday, then yeah, there's there's a lot of this going on. Interesting. Kitty did not clean it up. Okay. Well, then... People think you did, Kitty, <laughs> for some reason. So you just noticed it and left it? <laughs> well, I'm out here. I'll clean it up. Yeah, there's a little pile of it. Nothing too serious. Where does this road go? Oh, Venz's. All right, so let's go check out Venz's hole here. <laughs> Kitty noticed it, observed it, and forgot about it because Punch was working, working into the bone. All right, so... Venz's hole... So Venz is whole flooded. Venz now has a seawall so that Venz doesn't have to deal with another flood. <laughs> Venz has a tunnel, an underwater tunnel that leads to his oil platform. So how much water was in here after the sea level rise, I wonder? And so what do you do? Do you have like a cart that you just run back and forth, Venza? I just feel like I feel like building a road would have been simpler, but I get it. Sometimes building cool stuff is cool for its own sake, right? All right, let's go see if I can. Ooh, whose oil platform is this? Punches, maybe? Because I've seen Manbots, I've seen Venzes, I know where Altozos is, and it's not here. So this must be Punches. Unless there's like. Or Damos? Is Damo an oil driller? No, it is Punch. No, Damo's not an oil driller. Damo's a smelter, right? How's the pollution now? 
Minus 20, so it's it's kind of high. Oh, Damo is oil. Okay. Then I was right, even though I was wrong. I was right, then I was wrong. I was always oh, oils under the smoking dome. I knew that. I knew that. That's right, too. He's only mining in oil. So, yeah, that would suck if he logged in and was told that pollution was too high. <laughs> Platform would be a better idea when there's boats, for sure. For sure. Just, I mean, I, I did make a road district for you to build a road there. And you were like, no, I don't need it. And I got rid of it, remember? That's all I'm saying. But I get it. I probably don't need this giant tunnel that I have down to my iron mine. But I thought it would be cool to do, right? So I understand. I completely understand. It's all good. All right, so let's see. Um, okay, let's turn off ocean biome. I don't need to see that. Uh, what am I looking for here? Modern upgrade three. Oh, and how do I get modern upgrade twos? Modern upgrade twos is punch. Right? Yeah, no worries. Like, I was just trying to help and... If you didn't need it, then I can get rid of it, right? Yes, punches my record too. All right, well, I guess I can set everything up before I have to get the modern upgrades. Tunnel it. Well, you didn't know the world was going to flood in your defense, right? <laughs> There's no way you could have known that was going to happen. Yeah, this yeah the, the small little elevators and carts you got to line it up just right. I I've had uh, like iron mines before that just use the an elevator and a cart and yeah they're like more trouble than they're worth almost. All right, so here's the thing, the uh, the throttle rotation cell is pretty large. It takes up a lot of space. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put that. Right. Modules, there you go, Looch. And do we have anything queued up here? We do not. So do I have room for all of that here? I could technically, I technically don't need these anymore. All right. Roth flotation cell first. It's the biggest and it needs pipe work, but we can just put the pipes in with those existing pipes. Right, we have input and output. Oh, it's actually not quite as big as I thought it was. Uh, is this at the in or the out? Looks like the in. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Already connected. And then output just needs to catch up to there. Easy peasy. You've learned a lot. Hey, and this is your first long-term server, right? Like, this is, I believe it was you that said earlier tonight that this is the farthest you've ever gotten. So, yeah, you've. I'm sure you've learned... <laughs> You're, I'm sure you're already looking forward to the next run so you can apply some of this knowledge, right? Probably. Oh, placing pipes can suck sometimes. There. All right. So, man, that was easy to pipe up, pipe in. Input and output. Done. Four copper pipes. That's all we needed. And for anybody who doesn't know, the reason I'm using copper pipes here um, is because... Oh, is this going to be a problem? Is, is sewage going to pour out of that? I'll have to check. Every time you see my storage, a little part, what's wrong with my storage? I don't see anything wrong with my storage. Um, so this uses power, which we have. Everything looks good. All right, so we just need to modulate it. So disorganized. Oh, I know. Well, stuff's in the order it needs to be in. For me. I mean, why sort it? It's just going to get unsorted anyway. Or do you mean the priority?
Anyway, it works for me. It works for me. It's not going to stay sorted. I do not understand sorting storage. Yeah, different brains and little like little things bother me. Like multiple stores annoy me. Right, most people like them. Right. I'm still prioritizing my food bonus, even though I have absolutely no use for XP anymore. Right? You always press the sort button. The consolidate button, you mean? Is that better? I mean, like I said, I, it's not going to stay like that, though, so I don't even bother. I mean, I don't, and like, if I need to know how much I have of something, I generally don't go to my storage to look, right? I can look here and say, oh, I have 800 iron bars. I have 200 steel bars, right? I have 50 iron concentrate, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. So... It's yeah, you can see though the two different sides here. And I'm nobody's right or wrong. It's it's a pure preference thing. And some people are like, no, you're wrong. <laughs> but anyway. All right. So and I'm sure I guess gotta double check, make sure this reaches both stockpiles. Okay, it does. Then let's get the jaw crusher in. I put it right about here. That's not very big. This again, you got to make sure it reaches both stockpiles. Does. I thought this whole thing this was going to take a lot longer. I did not realize it was going to be so easy to get the pipes going for that. And just need to make sure this reaches both stockpiles. All right. So let us grab. I need three modern upgrades. One, two, three. And I know I need to go get these upgraded. And look, I can also understand, like, I understand how, why, I understand why this looks better to people. Like, I get that. I'm not saying, I'm not going to sit here and, and try to say that this doesn't look better. I just don't need it to look like this. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Oh, no, the consolidate's fine. Like, if somebody, this, like, this doesn't bother me having it like this it's just not worth it in my mind if it's worth it for you then you do it right i just don't think it's worth it but again preference um uh boss patch if boss pock if you're still there uh, eskimore asked if you had any bacon i'm assuming it means raw bacon yeah i don't usually look in there right But other people do. And it's a preference thing, obviously. And it's fine. And this is not where the MUs get upgraded. It's over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if he's still here. When's the last time he commented? Yeah, it's been a minute. And by when I say a minute, I mean way more than a minute since he's commented. So yeah, boss, if you're here, Eskimoor would like some raw bacon. If you're not, Eskimoor still wants raw bacon. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, well, I'm sure they're going to take a bit. Ooh, oh, Dantos is also doing them. I'm assuming, knowing Ponchi has more than one of these tables queued up for this. Shouldn't be long. There's two. There's a third. And let's... Um, oh, Punch doesn't have any steel plates. Does Darth have enough steel plates for this? Um, so it's... Five steel plates per. He has 62. All right, so he has enough. And he has enough. Yeah, he has enough of everything. Yeah, that's what I'm... 
I have MU twos, so I want MU threes. I'm just planning the next step, right? I just need one more of these MU twos from Punch. He's out of steel plates to sell to Darth for. Oh, I don't need any punch, but thank you. Obviously, you heard that and put some up. But yes, they both need plates. You are like you're cracked in that. Just Darth have, has a sign that I noticed when I was there earlier that said to check and make sure I have enough steel plates before you sell your MU twos. I'm not sure how exactly he worded it, but basically that's what he said. So I had to make sure that he had enough, and he does. So Punch must only have two tables doing this. No, he has one, two, three. Hmm. I feel like my last one should. I feel like my last one should have spit out already. I mean, me threes eat them. Yeah, I sold my third punch. Can you check? Make sure <laughs> make sure it's where it's supposed to be. Yeah, I mean I've I've done composites before, Darth, so I I, I knew what you meant, even if I, I probably would have meant or would have known what you meant because I've done composites and I know it needs steel plates. But if somebody's never done composites, I guess it, it would probably be potentially more confusing, right? Because it needs steel plates and rivets and composites, right? But a lot of people don't know how to check either, right? But everybody who's been on a server should watch... Me run over kitty almost. Um, should watch my 10 things I wish I knew video. And then my 10 more things I wish I knew about eco video. There's a lot of good tips in there. Here's the sign I'm talking about. Uh, check my advanced carpentry table to ensure it has enough steel plates before turning your MU2 for auto upgrade. So that's what we're talking about. So that's why I went to check his table. Okay, so he's got an uncued there. Check here. Okay, so modern upgrade three. And if you don't want to wait for the tooltip, you can hold control. Another tip for everybody. Then I go here, and I see that it's five steel plates per, right? Right here, basically. I mean, it's a little less, but let's assume for the sake of rounding up, it's five. Then I go down here. He's got 16 queued, um, which requires 76 steel plates. It says he only has 24 in storage. But if I only need three at five per, he needs to have 15 steel plates. So he has enough for mine. But, well, I probably should have brought some more. I probably should, I should have brought some down with me since Punch put them for sale. And I will. I'll put one I'll put one up here and I'm gonna run back to punches and grab steel plates for you, Darth. Anyway, pro tip. Of course, if I give all the pro tips during stream, then nobody's ever gonna watch my guides. <laughs> oh well. Well that the first 10 things I wish I knew when I first started playing Eco video is one of my most viewed videos. The second one did not do nearly as well. I'm not sure why. The tips are just as good, <laughs> in my opinion. But it just, the, the algorithm never grabbed it. Right? It, it happens. Sometimes the algorithm just doesn't grab something. At any rate. Um, do you all, do you, how are you doing for rivets, Darth? I should check. Yeah, if you enjoyed that tip, <laughs> check out the guide for even more. It's hard to make those, though, because it's like, is this too obvious? You know what I mean? The 10 things I wish I knew? Because just because I didn't know, maybe I was like 1% of people who didn't realize, right? And then because if you do a real obvious one, they might click off. Anyway, actually, pretty much all my 10 things I wish I knew videos, like the two for Eco. The second one didn't do as good. 
Um, what? It says I don't have any modern upgrade tools to sell. I pretty clearly have. Okay, so has this happened to anybody else this run? Because it's happened to me, but it's only ever happened at Axel store. This is the first, it's happened at Axel store like five times. This is the first time it's happened in anybody else's store. The number of times I brought tailings to Axel and his store is like, you don't have any. It's like, uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I've always had the relog, or maybe I just need to go at a render distance. I don't really want to relog. All right, I'm just going to drive away. Got a nice scratch on my arm. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Wait, where is it? No, you absolutely cannot see that. <laughs> or maybe I'm not showing the wrong part. Anyway, got a scratch on my arm. Trying to go into the woods for one of my discs that got away from me. <laughs> Playing disc golf. Hey, we get to check out this cool government store. It's a shame. Oh, I ran over the canvas bulbs. It's a shame that I feel like more people don't use this one because it's really nice. LG, server 12, let's go. You have plenty of rivets to cat. I try to make sure I have rivets in stock. So they're used, obviously they're using ME3s, but they're using a couple other things too, if I remember correctly. I don't remember what though. <laughs> Punch, punch needed them for something. I forget what exactly, but they're used for something. Or I could just mouse over them. Combustion engines, electric, oh yeah, all kinds of stuff. Park bench. Stove. Yeah. Anyway. That's the main one you use. Cool. There's only two this time. We did less. That's one thing we tried differently. Um, I will say one thing. I think I prefer the wider roads. And another thing, like, another aspect of the wider roads, there is almost 4,000 asphalt concrete for sale. Um, Like, is there even 4,000 asphalt roads yet to be built? Right? I don't, like, I don't think there is. Hey, that worked. Good. Don't have to lock it. So that's one aspect of the water roads. Also, like um, Xander said, the lines. It's easier to make the line down the middle on the 15 wide roads because it's odd. Can't decorate as easily. Next server is going to have wider roads again. Either 100% wider roads, or at the very least, um, the main roads will be wider. Right? But that's the next server. Worry. You're all busy saving the road to build roads? Saving the world to build roads? Yes. But it's just... Uh, probably sometime in the next week, the government's going to have to start buying like slag probably and possibly all and crushed stone as well, potentially. Right. Cause if people start building with ashlar, crushed stone is a byproduct of making ashlar. And if the road builders are like my stockpiles are full of roads, I don't need any more crushed stone. Well, guess what? <laughs> Some, they got to go somewhere. Right? So, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I've had, I've put slag and I put crust stone in the government stores before. I will again. That's fine. Right? It doesn't bother me. You like the five at first until asphalt so stone roads don't need to be crushed. Well, I don't have, have stone roads need to be crushed this run. Well, that's the other part about the 15 wide. Too, right, Phil? Because, so, all right, so. Two different points that I'll kind of touch on both. So the 15 wide road. So the 10 wide road has a one shoulder on each side, right? 
So that's two stone roads. The 15 wide typically has a two, a two wide stone shoulder on each side, right? And sometimes we've done another stone road in the middle, right? Um, which is way more stone roads. And in particular, if you do the two, one in the middle, two, that's literally five stone roads. So if one of the things we've done, I'll talk, I'll answer your question in a minute, Axel. Um, like one thing I did, I did it on like one server and I, I didn't love how it worked. So let's pretend this is a 15 wide road instead of a 10 wide road, okay? What I did was I districted it all out so it couldn't be claimed, but then one section of it, so one five by five was the only section you actually get paid for building roads in. So people only built just a five by five in the early game. And then once, you know, the roads spread out far enough and the asphalt came out, then we could widen them. And then, but the five stone roads that are already in there, you could just use as the shoulder and one in the middle, right? And then you could just do like, like a five wide road on each side for each side of traffic, right? And that way the stone road, you never have too many stone roads that way. But the problem was when I did that, when I did the initial five by five wide, people were like, Looch, you gotta, you gotta widen this one. You gotta widen that one before I wanted to. And it just, it was just annoying. <laughs> Honestly, if I do it again, what's going to happen is it's just going to be, they're going to be five wide until asphalt comes out straight up. That's just going to be how it's going to be. If we do it again, because I'm not, I'm not going to babysit them. Right. Is what I, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, okay. So yeah, I think what's happening is I think Darth only probably has two machines set up for making those. Yes. So uh yeah 20 seconds left yeah Tom, well like i said i think i feel like just doing five wide until mechanics is released right because that way steam trucks and asphalt in theory come out at the same time all right so axel's point about pollution i mean i think what we're going to try to do we're going to push electronics up um to release the same time as uh, as everything else. <laughs> um, and we're gonna subsidize wind turbine use. The consensus seems to be that it was a bit of a fluke and steam engines were a large part of the culprit. Um, so if we push electronics up and we subsidize farmer blacking out, <laughs> That's illegal. Where's your slow moving vehicle sign? This is Canada. You need a slow moving vehicle sign, sir. Sir. Sir, where is your slow moving vehicle sign? I am not even sprinting and I am as fast as you. <laughs> no, Xander, the, the 15 wide was districted it out and you couldn't claim on it, but there was like a separate district inside that you could you could still build the road you just didn't get paid unless you put it in the one five wide so there was like a district within a district like each the you couldn't claim in it right unless you're talking about something different no i thought we talked about that kitty i thought we talked about it in stream already i didn't i don't really like the idea because people are gonna get is advanced baking gets all their ingredients and advanced cooking doesn't. Some of the stuff's at the kitchen punch, which would be out at that point. Um, that, that would be my concern with it. Yes, but advanced baking gets all their recipes. Advanced cooking doesn't. If you think that there isn't going to be somebody that, that complains about that, I think you're being naive, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, so like I said, the the district was there, the 15 wide district. And within that 15 wide, five wide was a separate district. And I'm not saying that's not necessarily reason to not do it, Kitty. I'm just saying that's one drawback that we need to consider. Right. But it's also it 
it's too much research for one release day. Well, that's a whole, totally different. If that's the concern, because that's not what I, I considered, yeah, we could potentially do it. We could potentially bump it up. Or we can we can alter the the flow somehow. So it's yeah, because I get it. Like there's there's one thing. There's mechanics. Then there's one thing. There's advanced smelting. And then there's like oh here's seven things, right? Right. But punch electronics used to be three days after industry. We're moving electronics to the same day as industry. Was, is what we're talking about, Punch. That, that's what I would like to do, Axel, because I don't like skids. Oh, I just forgot I need to turn these into AU4s or ME4s. Do you make ME4s, Punch? Or no, Monkey. Does Monkey make ME4s? Where's Monkey Store? He is buying on a modern upgrade threes. Let's see if he's got any queued here. He's got one table working at it. Just needs MU threes. There is enough in there. Okay. So I stopped making copper today, punch. Um Um, I stopped making copper because I didn't want to make any co more copper until I got my Throth Flotation cell in, which I now do. So I can start I can start ramping out my copper again if you're struggling with copper, which I think is what you're saying. There's not a lot of copper right now. Um, but yeah, we can talk about the skid steers. I per like I said, I hate skid steers. I would like to, I would prefer to ban them, but I know that would be a not cool decision among a lot of people. Um, but yeah, Katie, if it's too much, we can figure something out. And I agree that if you're going to bump something up, advanced baking and cooking is probably the best thing to bump up. Oh, I'll get, I'll get a bunch going. I'll get a bunch more cop. Well, yeah, I'll get a bunch more copper going. Don't worry. Again, I was going to do a bunch today and I was like, I really got to stop making copper right now. Um, if, uh, cause I, I was, I was making it inefficiently. Right. And I was like, eh, I want to wait to put the, the throth flotation cell in on stream tonight. I only bought, I bought mine this afternoon. I could have put it in then, but I was like, um, that's another interesting thing is what Katie said. I kind of like this one is. You can only use a skid steer if you have the minor skill. Because it kind of ruins it. You don't like like and and I'm not I'm not trying to single somebody out here and I'm not saying it's a negative, but like Eskermora right now has like thousands of stones for sale, which is fine because he he did it with a skid steer, but he's not a miner, right? So a miner with a skid steer has no advantage over somebody like Eskermore, who's just a cook and has a lot of time on their hands, right? So that's something we could do, um, potentially. Uh, yeah, I just think skid steers are a bit too convenient. They kind of, I don't know, spoil the game. And yeah, no, I like that idea, Kitty. Yeah, the excavator, you don't want to be mining over with the excavator, particularly, right? Um, all right, well, uh, server restarts in five minutes, well, six minutes. I'm not planning to stream past the restart. I was planning to just stream for two hours, restart, perfect stopping point. Um Level six, but yeah, well, yeah, black and oak mentioned level seven, level six would be fine. Um, because at least that way, would you also have to ban chainsaws for non loggers then? 
Well, I mean, if people want to take stars for it, they can. Or, or what I think Phil's saying is for the first four or five days. Um, I don't, I, I don't think people are going to hold a star just for it. Yeah, we can put the chainsaw rule in. That's fine. That doesn't bother me. Um, well, yeah, I mean, if we're going to, if we're talking about banning one, we should talk both, but we can say the minor rule for the skid steer just until like day 21 and then we can open them up to everybody, maybe. Right? Like, there's a few different ways we could do it. I don't like banning equipment. I don't love it either. I, I still, I just, I think skids, I think you should need to be a miner to, to operate a skid steer. Or you should get some kind of advantage. You know what I mean? I don't love it either, Cal. I don't like, I joke. I When I say I want to ban skid steers, I'm mostly joking. I'm mostly joking. And it would never be a full ban. It would just be like a delay or a partial ban for a certain time. Just because what, I mean, I've never played on a server other than my own. But I've heard enough stories from other people is what happens is people rush through the text. They get skid skiers. People do what they want. They shoot down the meter. They build what they want. And then everybody's done in two weeks and the server ends. Right? I don't want that. I want to make my server last longer. Right? You know what I mean? Um, but, but I agree. I don't love banning stuff either. This is working on this, right? Yes. Oh, it's literally one second away. But again, this is all something we can talk about. I'm not going to just do it. Um, need at least to have mined one million blocks. One million is not a awful lot much. Um, need a license? Yeah. Um, yeah, anybody have any other questions? Uh, and again, feel free to pollute people. Like, just... If it gets real bad, I'll just put a law in that stops it again. Right? But it's easier for me to say, oh, let's just ban skid steers because I don't use skid steers. Right? <laughs> so it's easier for me that I'm mostly joking when I, I would never fully ban skid steers or chainsaws. Just potentially delay them or limit it to the people that have the skills would be the only thing. Potentially that we would do. Um, no, don't donate money to me, Punch. I, I have too much money already. Money that I don't need. Money that I don't need. So I'm just going to stand here until after restart, get my last MU. And then uh, I'm going to start getting some copper going. I am going to play after restart. I'm just not going to stream. So... Back on the normal stream schedule, so the next stream will be Thursday afternoon, noon Eastern, 5 UTC, same time on Saturday afternoon, and then Tuesday night again. Although, probably starting, so like this Thursday and Saturday, or this Thursday for sure will be an eco stream, probably um, starting next week, uh, only one or two of the streams will be eco. I might also start streaming more often. We'll see. Um, like, for example, uh, October 12th, I'm going to be streaming that Star Trek Infinite game, most likely. Um, oh, no, only patrons? No. That's not that. I, I get it. But that's not the kind of bonus I'm trying to give my patrons. But again, shout out to my patrons. Um, I mean, I guess we can continue to talk while the restart happens here. Um, does anybody else need some? So uh, my birthday is October 14th. That's a Saturday. I was planning to do Jackbox that night. So for anybody who doesn't know what Black and I was talking about or what I'm talking about, Jackbox party games. It's like a party game thing that I own the game. I, I load it up. I play it. You all watch. And all you need to do is you go on a, a browser on your phone, your tablet, even on your PC, 
All you need is a browser. Only I need to own the game. Not everybody does. And then we all play together. Um, so, yeah, that's not this Saturday, but next Saturday, the 14th. I'll probably do just a normal stream in the afternoon and then a birthday stream in the evening. Or maybe I'll just do the evening stream. I don't know. It's like, oh, God, it's 11 days away. It's getting close. 46 years old. Right? Yes. <laughs> I had to think about it. That's not good. And also, um, there's a game coming out called Foundry. Uh, which is kind of, it looks very similar to Satisfactory, except it's got a voxel-based destructible world. Um, and if, if anybody's th thinking to themselves, uh, when you played that Terra or Tectonica game, didn't you say you didn't like doing factory games anymore? You are correct. Um, 21st birthday, yeah, right. Um, I feel like if I played on a stream, it'd be better. We'll see. I think I'm going to... Anyway, it it doesn't come out yet, but it there's a demo for it that comes out on the 6th, I think. So I might stream that sometime next week. But that'll probably be a bonus stream that's at, like, non-normal stream time. Um, I didn't really have to think about it. I was just trying to think about a joke to make. <laughs> like, I was going to say 39 again. Um, I made that joke when I was in my 30s. I was 29 for, like, six years in a row excuse me um good night punch oh it's like three o'clock man go to bed <laughs> go to bed um yeah i haven't really made that joke in my 40s that was a 30s joke that 30s joke um punch is going to sleep i don't know when punch sleeps honestly of course when i was younger I didn't sleep near as much as I need to now. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about pollution and skid steers and research timing. But what you, I what you say makes sense, Kitty, about if we're doing electronics on day 12, that's a lot. And maybe something needs to move one way or another. Um, could we... Could we push oil drilling up? Even though you don't... Even though you, you wouldn't be able to do anything with the stuff, you could have all the oil products ready to go. But no, but then we're oil drilling with steam engines and we want to avoid steam engines. Anyway, we will talk about all this. Um, yeah. Hey, Elsirk. You know what? I'm not going to end stream just yet. I know I said I was going to end, but I'm not going to yet. Or, yeah, you could just do, you could do the research early and just not release the books. I mean, you could start them because, I mean, mechanic, it's only mechanics on day six. It's only advanced smelting on day nine. Remember to hit that like button. It looks like this. It's a thumbs up. Or wait, is it still a thumbs up? Yeah, it's still a thumbs up, right? Leave a comment. Comments help. Um... I feel bad for Elsirk because Elsirk never gets to see streams. And now Elsirk is here right when I'm about to end the stream. Hey, Elsirk, I came by your place tonight. I went to your place, your crushed, your home of crushed things. I appreciate it when you have iron concentrate for me. Um, yeah, I'm, we'll figure something out. Is my MU ready? It is. All right. I'm assuming all those machines took MUs. <laughs> I hope they do. What am I? St oh, I'm stuck on the. Apparently, I'm stuck on the pole. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, slash free car. Oh, well, it's not stuck on the pole anymore. <laughs> that was weird. All right, so how are we doing on pollution right now? Minus 40, that's fine. I feel like anybody who lives uh, close to the water 
has planned for it at this point. But I'm more worried about the I'm more worried about the temperature change and the sea level change at this point. Right? Like for the farmers and the sake of their sandy and having to make new farms. So wait, when how long for the meteor? So I guess we're gonna shoot down the meteor the 21st, probably. Because I don't want to also do that on my birthday. Yeah, 21st for the meteor, I'd say. Wood chippers, we have a deeper ocean. What's going on? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I feel like I missed something. They'll never find your body is nearly as terrifying as they'll never stop finding your body. Happy early birthday, Blacking Out. Shout out to October birthdays. All right, so where do I make the mining and modern upgrade? In here. So we need probably three of them. I would say, oh my God, that's another 10 minutes each. Talking about hiding bodies. Okay. That's good, I guess. <laughs> and okay, yes, yeah, so that is also mining modern. Yes, October twenty first for the for the meteor. Yes, punch. And I I, I failed at ending stream, <laughs> so far. Uh, I need to eat. Give me food. All right. Uh, the problem is I have all this food that I'm I'm almost out of, and I'm trying to not eat it because I don't want to. In case I crave it, I want to have one. <laughs> oh my god, it's a lot of labor for this. I'm just gonna pound some muffins. Punch, don't make Luch end the stream. Just see, so go to bed. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Um, uh, actually, I'm kind of, I'm starting to run out of things to talk about anyway. And this is what I realized last night. If you, if I do a Tuesday evening stream, that Thursday afternoon stream comes quickly. So a part of me is like, save some things to talk about till Thursday, man. Save some things. You don't want to blow everything today. So I am going to end stream here. Sorry, Al Cirk. Uh, but I'm glad you came out. Like I said, if you watched the VOD, I did go check out your place. Do you have room for tailings now, Axel? You're at work, so you probably haven't made any room, right? Because you're at work. You said you were at work, and work was busy. So you missed a bunch of the stream. Um, so yeah, that's all for this one, folks. Hit that like button, subscribe. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.